Hi friends, I'm Sandeep Singh and in this video I'm going to be talking about Active Recall. So let's get started. Now Active Recall is basically a study technique you can use for your exams. But the thing about Active Recall which I dislike is that Active Recall takes a lot of work. So I wouldn't actually recommend Active Recall for everyone and I wouldn't recommend for you to use Active Recall all the time. But like Active Recall is known to be like a very good study technique which I kind of agree. A lot of things fall under Active Recall. Active Recall is anything which like makes you test yourself. And like in Active Recall, you're basically like stimulating your memory for information. Active Recall like uses retrieval practice because like you'll be like going inside your brain and like finding like answers for like a specific thing. Now let me give you some example. The Feynman technique uses Active Recall. I have a video talking about the Feynman technique like somewhere over there. But essentially like the Feynman technique you basically like have a topic in mind. You have to like try, simplify the topic as much as possible and like make it very easy to understand so like even a kid can understand it. Essentially that uses active recall because you'd be like going inside your brain and like figuring out things to like change to like make it simple to understand. But you see Feynman technique also takes a lot of hard work which is why I don't actually recommend active recall for everyone. Paraphrasing a topic also uses active recall. If you actually like paraphrase something, so like if like your teacher like writes something and like you paraphrase it to like make it to be your own words, that also uses active recall. Because like paraphrasing, you need to understand the concept well before like you can actually like change it to your understanding. And like basically like you'll be going inside your brain and like thinking of like stuff which you can change so like you'll understand it better. And making flashcards also uses active recall because like in flashcards, you basically like have a question in the front and have the answer at the back. So essentially, whenever like you want to revise using flashcards, you would always like read the question first and then you'd be going inside your brain and like thinking of like the answer for that question. And then when you think of an answer, then you look at the back of the flashcards and see if your answer actually matches the flashcards answer. And like that uses active recall because like you'd be like testing yourself with like questions and like answers. And like there's many ways to like use flashcards like you can have like different groups of like flashcards if it's like a very hard topic then like maybe you can like revise those flashcards like every day or like if it's like topics which you like kind of understand then maybe you can like revise that flashcards like once a week and stuff like that and i kind of use like the question answer kind of thing of active recall inside notion like essentially like I have toggle list and essentially I have a question like outside the toggle and then like when I see the question I'll be like going inside my brain like thinking of like the answer for the question and then um, when I think of the answer then only like I'll open the toggle and like see if the answer actually matches to like my answer. And like the blurting technique and like mind maps also uses active recall. Now what exactly is the blurting technique? Now the blurting technique is basically a technique like let's say you have like a topic in a book and like once you have read the topic you have to like close your book and like write everything which you have read like maybe in like a mind map kind of form or something like that in like a separate like piece of paper and like that allows you to use active recall because you'll be like going inside your brain like thinking of like everything you've read and stuff like that. Now what I basically use to study most of the time is actually passive review. Now passive review is not that effective. Passive review is basically like reading something and like maybe like after three days you'll read it again and like Maybe like after like a week you'll be reading again and stuff like that and I think that's basically what essentially I do. But like it's not that effective because like you're not really like testing yourself because like you're mainly like reading it. That's why like active recall is still like the best method but like I still use passive review because passive review is simple. And honestly I think we have to find this like balance between like simplicity and like effectiveness. I think there's this curve where like the more effective a study technique is, the harder it is to also use it and like we still need to find like a balance between like those two but like i'm not gonna stop using passive review because like i feel like the workload is like too much in university to use active recall so i'm still gonna use passive review so like honestly the best study technique is just honestly what works for you but like the main thing is that you don't be like a robot when you study because like there's no like fixed way to study you shouldn't like say that i have to read this like three times or like read this five times and stuff like that because that's not studying. Studying is meant to be like flexible and like it's supposed to be simple. If you feel like active recall is not going to work for you, then don't use it. If you feel like you've read enough of your work and you don't feel like reading it again, then don't read it again. So the best study technique is whatever works for you. And even though like active recall is meant to be like the best study technique, because like you're basically going to be like testing yourself and stuff like that. I don't expect everyone to like do this and like even I don't do this. So just do whatever works for you, to be honest. All right. That's it for this video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.